Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this Girl on Fire French Tips design for The Hunger Games. I am about to go see it this afternoon, um, shortly after I finish recording this actually. And, you know, last week's design also would have been great for The Hunger Games, but I really had more Thanksgiving in mind when I did it. So I did want to do another design with The Hunger Games specifically in mind. And if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. So you always want to start off, of course, with a base coat. And then I'm also using a white base color just so I don't have any uh, visible nail line or anything. I'm using OPI Alpine Snow. And then for my glitter, I'm going to be using Formula X for Sephora Spark. You can see it's this kind of gold and hollow glitter. And <clears throat> it's got kind of medium glitter and small glitter in there. So you get a variety of sizes. And I'm just going to apply this. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to do one or two coats. It'll just depend on how much glitter goes on with the first coat. And sometimes with glitter, you don't even need a full second coat. Sometimes you just need to dab a little on in spots where it may be a little thin. So just play it by ear and go with your own personal tastes. I did go with two full coats of the glitter. If you wanted less, you could go with just one coat. If you wanted more, you could go ahead and add a third coat. Uh, the jelly that I'm using is OPI Meet Me at the Bonfire. And it's this red but as you'll see, once I start to apply a couple coats of this, it is transparent enough that you can still see all the sparkly, glittery goodness underneath. So that's going to create a very vibrant base color. And, you know, if you didn't want to go through with all the layering and messing around with a bunch of different polishes, you could certainly just pick a shimmery red or a red glitter to start off with. I did two coats of the red and now to paint out the flames I'm going to be using a black acrylic paint. You could certainly use polish if you want but uh, number one with acrylic paint if you let your polish dry first you can uh, wipe it up with just water. Number two, since it dries slower, it's actually, I feel like, a little bit easier to work with. And for the flames, I'm kind of using the same technique as when I cut out um, little stickers when I did my flame reciprocal. And that's kind of just a wavy line up and a wavy line down. And that'll give you some flames like that. And then for the rest of the nail, I'm just going to paint in the black. I think on a couple nails, I'll probably add a little kind of flame accent even within the black. The pinky is obviously a little bit too small for that. But how much of the nail you have the flame on and whether you do any accents is, of course, up to you. Like I always say, just use your own personal taste and create something that you like.
I'm going to finish everything off with Sesh Feet, my normal top coat. And of course, it's extra important to use top coat when you're working with the acrylic paint uh, because otherwise your design can wash off. Um, the main thing is let it dry, not necessarily completely, but I like to say dry to the touch before you apply your top coat and just apply that top coat with a gentle touch and you should be able to avoid smearing your design. So here's the finished design and I did my cleanup while I was waiting for the acrylic to dry. It really is still a little bit messy but I have to go watch the movie pretty shortly here so I didn't take as much time as I usually do. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope you enjoy the movie if you go see it. And as always, thanks for watching.